the problems with programming can be that some of the references to ports or pins can be very abstract. For example, let me go ahead. And if we were to control an LED as I did in a previous example, we might be using the command I A dot zero. What is A dot zero? It's a port. It's a specific port on the microcontroller. But if we had many devices that we're controlling, it's going to be difficult to remember that A dot zero is controlling maybe one of the LEDs or a motor or whatever else. So we would like to replace this part of this line with something that's a little more logical. That's where symbol comes into play. So what we can do is let me go ahead and erase this. At the very beginning of our program, we're going to have we are going to have a declaration or a statement that's going to tell it that we are going to create a symbol. So it'll begin with the word symbol, and then it'll be followed by some name, the name that you want to give it. Now this can be just about any name. There are some restrictions, and you can look in the manual for those. But uh, most cases, just simply don't use a name that pickaxe is going to use. So you couldn't have a symbol called symbol. You couldn't have a symbol called pause. You couldn't have a symbol called hide. Those are already being used. So you have to give it a unique name. So let's say that my symbol is going to be called L. E D one. If you've got eight LEDs, I want to keep them straight. Logical name would be LED one. So I can tell it that I want that to be an output port, and specifically, I want that to be a dot zero. So now in my program, we would still have that do. I would still have my high. But rather than say a dot zero, I will give it the equivalent. A dot zero, what's equivalent to it is LED one. So I can replace that with LED one. I could still have my pause in here. When I go to use my low, I'm going to use LED one again. And again, my pause. And then that would be followed by my loop. So all I've really done in this program is you placed everything where it said A.0 with LED1. Makes the program a lot easier to follow.